Everybody, it's me, Larasha, Goddess Queen, just me, 23, and this is going to be another zodiac sign reading. And Cancers, you are up. So this is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, North Node. Guided to this video, if you don't have Cancer in your chart and not dealing with anybody that has Cancer in their chart, maybe there's some messages in this video for you too. Cuss babies, I include you in my readings because your sun sign represents who you're trying to be before you pass over in this lifetime. So if I state your date of birth, that means that you are a cuss baby. If I don't state your date of birth, that means that you are a regular cancer when it comes to your sun sign. Okay, um, so uh, <clears throat> Gemini slash cancer, June the 17th to June the 23rd. Gemini slash cancer, June the 17th to June the 23rd. And then Cancer slash Leo, July the 19th through July the 25th. Cancer slash Leo, July the 19th through July the 25th. <clears throat> north Node, I'm including you in my readings because your North Node represents your past life karma and this karma in this lifetime. So it represents both. And since you're new to this journey um, and you're remembering, and some of y'all are not new to it, y'all have been working to remember who your soul and your spirit is, retrieve, get freedom from the matrix, you know, the, the higher up, the ones that have had control of our souls and spirits, able to manipulate it, you know, use it in certain situations for their advantage and their hidden agendas. And we're remembering who we are so we can gain our power back, really realizing our worth. And then also, you know, the key people that have been working with us, you know, from past life to past life to this life, um, that have assisted our souls and our spirits in our journeys and then us assisting them in their souls and spirit journeys as well Okay, so if you're new to my channel, welcome if you have been here for a while, thank you for supporting me um, <clears throat> It is Sagittarius season that's fire energy as far as what it being your element water water as being your element cancer You know how fire and water you take, you know put out fire um, when it comes to, you know, stopping a fire from burning down a house or stopping, um, you know, a person from getting burned, water is an, an element, you know, a material, a, a matter that can, you know, take fire out, but also fire can also, there's some fire that can, you know, stay on top of water and so on. So there's so many different things. And then also when, you know, you as a water um, element, you know, material, when you get cold and you freeze, ice can warm you, you know, melt, melt you down to, to recreate, recreate the, the, the water, you know, matter. Okay. So just think about how that affects you. And then also how it affects fire signs when y'all are vice versa in each other's season. And when there's, you know, depending on the full moon, it's a Gemini full moon. And that brings out, you know, a lot of alter egos, you know, dark sides, shadow sides, light sides, you know, feminine, masculine energies, you know, things that are hidden, you know, re uh, using your intuition, all that falls into, you know, Gemini. And then also, you know, deception, you know, trickery, not showing your true face, wearing false mask. Um, some of them are not false masks because they're split personalities that are involved with this person's soul and spirit. So a lot of things are coming out at this time with this energy. Okay. So make sure you protect your soul and your spirit the best, the best way that you can healing yourself mentally, physically, as well as emotionally protecting your vessel, your home, 
um, the thing, your your family, your children, the ones that are willing to, you know, accept your your guidance and your protection when it comes to the different things that you're able to help the collective with, even if you're not a light worker, okay, just off of your experience. So welcome. Thank you for being here. So let's go ahead and get started. Cancers, the song that's on right now is Killing Me Softly with his song by the Fugees, okay? So, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, North Node, got it to this video if you don't have cancer in your chart and not dealing with anybody that has cancer in their chart. Maybe there's some messages in this video for you too. Scoop this back some. I heard he sang a good song. So that could be somebody that, you know, he sang a good song could not necessarily be good. It could be good. Some people can sing, you know, their true feelings, you know, express in music and sound on how they truly feel. And then singing a good song could be that person could be full of shit. You know, they just saying whatever just to make you feel good or make you diff think, uh, you know, look at them different and not judge them. Okay. Strong in my pain with his finger. So that could be intimacy as well. The Knight of Coins. The Knight of Pentacles. That, so this represents Capricorn, Taurus, as well as Virgo. So it took a long time for this person to get here. This is the slowest moving night in the deck. And for this coming out, this could be you, Cancer. It could have been the person that you were dealing with. It took a long time for this person to give you this offer, this commitment. They have something that they want to give to you. Okay, this is somebody that has experience and they can they they could either act off their experiences. Let's say if this person got hurt and it damaged their confidence, it damaged their pride, if their money was not right, it's gonna cause this person to move slowly. Um, you know, they possibly already made a decision that they are gonna choose you, cancers are cross watchers, you know, you could have made a decision that you were already you choose this cancer or vice versa. Um, but they it, they're finally getting there, but it took them a long time. Okay, so this represents energy as far as longevity. So I feel like there's an offer that somebody's wanting to give you cancer or an offer that you're wanting to give this person, okay? Something solid, something tangible too. So this could be a gift. I'll take those. The three of coins, building together, coming together, working as a team, okay? Coming together, working as a team, building a foundation, a solid foundation, okay? Giving and receiving the queen of swords, gaining the knowledge, doing what's needed to be done, okay? This song, this, this, song, this card came out in my last reading that I just did, okay? My Aquarius reading. So this represents Aquarius, Libra, as well as Gemini, but speaking the truth, realizing the truth, okay? Not putting, putting your foot down, standing firm on your decisions, cutting out what needs to be cut, being blunt if you need to be blunt, regardless of how a person feels, okay? So you have the Knight of Cups, so this is an apology. So with this offer, there, it comes with an apology, as well, them showing affection, them showing you, you know, how they, how much they care, them giving you this, this gesture, this token. If this is gifts, if this is money, something tangible. If it's an offer, it's coming with an apology. Okay, so Cancer, Pisces, as well as Scorpio, this could come with a toast. There could be a cheers to you, Cancers, or cross watchers. You could be cheersing to this Cancer. Or this cancer could be choosing, cheersing to you or vice versa. So the five of swords, there goes that deception, that trickery, playing games, having hidden motives. Like I said earlier, the page of sword acting immature. Okay. Petty energy. Not knowing how to communicate the proper way. If they do communicate, it's childish or they're not saying the right things. Some of them could have been holding back again, giving you offers. Let's say if this person has some trickery when it comes to money and then possibly, like I said, um, communicating or, you know, being vocal on how they feel, 
um, love offers, giving you uh, immature offers when it comes to love, okay, is what I'm hearing. Um, it, it's all reflecting in this person's actions or in your actions, Cancers, when it comes to your masculine or your feminine, okay? Somebody definitely was, you know, had hidden motives and was definitely knew that they were petty about it, okay? There is definitely a female energy around that's possibly like he say, she say bullshit. Um, it could be a Virgo that this person was dealing with or Cancers, you could have Virgo in your chart or your masculine and feminine can have Virgo in their chart, but somebody definitely was dealing with a female. I feel like a female energy, um... Okay, uh, is what I'm getting from this could be a Libra slash uh, Virgo slash Libra or they could have Libra or Aquarius, um, Gemini or Virgo, but it's definitely Virgo in their chart. Okay, so this could also page energy could represent child's mother, child's father as well. Okay. You have the queen of staffs. There goes fires. So there's definitely two energies, okay, as far as women energy. So you have a air sign and then you have a fire sign female here, okay? So there could have been trickery um, from the both of these women, but I feel like one is more petty. One is more um, withdrawn emotionally is what I'm hearing than the other. Somebody, one of them could have been more of a logical thinker. Are them being a loner? Somebody's definitely like a loner. Are they keep to themselves? The Ace of Coins is right there. Ten of staffs. There goes that burden. Weighs on their shoulders. So them putting, you know, heavy weight. Like I said, a burden, bringing burdens to this relationship, Cancers, or vice versa. Your masculine, your feminine was bringing uh, burdens to the relationship between you and them. Cross watchers, vice versa. Um, but somebody definitely, like I told you, um, Whoever this other woman was, they were there for the money. Yeah, they were committing for the money. They were committing for the money. Okay, so you have Taurus here. You have the Two of Wands um, coming out. This represents energy as far as coming together, working as a team, you know, waiting for your ships to come in. Um, this also represents commitment. So I feel like I told you somebody was honoring their, you know, get... <laughs> They were committing to the wrong things or the wrong person are committing for the wrong things. And then let's say if this person was somebody that was younger or somebody that, you know, looked good physically, it just brought burdens to this person because again, this person could have been somebody that was materialistic or very needy. Or like I said, if they had a certain lifestyle and needed to stay up, they could have been having to put money and finances into this person's, you know, way of living. Let's say their hair, their their car, you know, their 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 house, giving them money for their house to pay their bills and so on. So them, you know, main, you know, keeping this person occupied just end up turning out to be a burden to this person. Okay, and this person is seeing this. Okay, they're seeing this, and this is part of the apology that they're wanting to give to you. Like one night of pleasure, and and they probably slept with this person more than one part one time. But it's like that one night of pleasure just end up bringing a lot of burdens, a lot of stress, um, because they lay down with somebody that looked good physically, but this person possibly was damaged inside. Okay. Okay, so the six of staffs, this is giving recognition. That's a victory. And then you have the page of staff. The yeah, fire, definitely sexual energy. This person could have been somebody that was younger, a younger fire, a younger 
feminine or masculine energy that this person was involved with. And like I said, they were, you know, um, seeing this person as a trophy because of the way that their looks, you know, they felt, you know, that that was giving, you know, making this person feel confident, you know, their boys or, you know, their, their females were like, damn, you know, he looked good or damn, she looked good. You got you a young person. So it was building up this person's confidence, but at the same time, it was a headache. Okay. It was a headache because this person could have been somebody that was very immature. They could have thrown tinder tantrums. Okay. This represents fire. Um, Aries, Leo, as well as Sagittarius and Virgo. So they definitely could be dealing with that. I said those two signs, there could be an ending to a relationship. This could have been abusive or, you know, very physical uh, uh, ending to a relationship between you and Cancer and this person. Okay. Definitely ending a sexual. There could be distance between sex between you and this person. Or this could be that's the reason why this karmic or this karmic soulmate is upset because this person is no longer intimate with them sexually. Okay. So Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, North Node. Got it to this video if you don't have cancer in your chart and not dealing with anybody that has cancer in their chart. Maybe there's some messages in this video for you too. Okay, so the Hermit card. So definitely somebody that has Virgo in their chat, their 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 chart could have had a child with this Virgo. Like I said, there's a lot of um, page energy here. Okay, um, and then you have two Virgos here. Okay, okay. So definitely see that you know there's a uh, a loner energy. Somebody again that was in a standstill. They could have been more of a logical thinker than thinking with their heart. That could have been another thing. They could have been very de defensive when it comes to them expressing their emotions or them being vocal or even just giving, they were just giving immature offers. Okay, somebody could have also been overcoming, you know, childhood wounds with one of these page cards being reversed. Um, you got a, the page of swords, the page of staff, and the page of pentacles here. Okay. But somebody definitely, this card in this deck, I don't like this Hermit card because I feel like there was like energy as far as um, stalking, you know, uh, if there was a karmic or karmic soulmate, um, they could have been using spell magic. That could have been another thing that could have been used um, in order to keep this person stuck. Okay, keeping them committed. Or they knew how to throw their, throw their sexuality on them, cancers, on you. The Knight of Swords telling and speaking the truth, coming in with both uh, verbal communication. Okay. Some of the things they probably are not going to, you know, like, you're not going to like what this person has to say, but they're going to say it and get it off their chest. Okay. And then the page of pentacles, that's Capricorn, Taurus, as well as Virgo, an offer coming in. Okay? They have something to offer. If this person, uh, is there's a change in this person's stability, their finances, now they have something that they can give you. It took them a while. Okay? Or if this person was being stingy or being deceptive as far as when them giving, yeah, leaving, making you feel left abandoned. If they were not giving you your time, their energy or not spending the money, even giving share change. This person is realizing the abandonment that they had into this relationship between you and them. Okay, somebody's definitely going to be feeling left abandoned. It could be, like I said, the mother, their child, the father, their child. Okay, this other female energy. That was just there, you know, pushing on more sexual energy wise. They could be left out financially wise as well.
Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody's taking back an offer, taking back a contract. No longer giving into a certain situation. An ending to a relationship. Okay? And it definitely could be the mother, their child, the father, their child. Okay? A marriage. This could be also a job. Okay? So this represents Capricorn, Taurus, as well as Virgo. There could have been a deception behind a pregnancy. Somebody could have lied about a baby. And somebody's getting left behind because of the lying about behind that. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, North Node. Got it to this video if you don't have cancer in your chart and not dealing with anybody that has cancer in their chart. Maybe there's some messages in this video for you too. We have Aquarius here. We have the Empress, the mother, father, their child that, that's showing up. We have the Three of Wands. Um, we have the, the Lover's card, which is Gemini. We have Judgment. We have the, the Nine of Pentacles, which is Virgo more. And then the Ace of Pentacles coming back upright. So I do feel like I said there's an offer that's coming in. Um, there's a brand new beginning between you and this person, you and this individual, is what I'm getting from this spread. Okay. Um, you could have been a little bit, you know, defensive with the three of wands. There could have been, you know, um, being cautious as far as when it comes to this offer, somebody could have had an issue as far as when it comes to, let's say if this person was enjoying their single life, they could have been the, somebody that was non-committal and didn't want to commit to this relationship. Okay. Is what I'm getting. They could have been more enjoying their single life. This is that spying energy with these squirrels on these, this card as well. So somebody definitely was stalking somebody. Okay. You got two squirrels here. So two people looking, it could have been you, Cancer, looking on your divine feminine, divine masculine, then a karmic or karmic soulmate that you dealt with or vice versa. It's your masculine, your feminine's karmic or karmic soulmate and them spying on you, okay? Um, but somebody's definitely giving somebody a solid offer. This is the lover's card. This is a commitment. This is a soulmate, a union, okay? Somebody realizing you as their counterpart. Okay, coming together. Um, there was judgment that needed to be had. Like I said, they're seeing you as their empress. Okay, so this represents energy as far as um, Airy, uh, Taurus as well as Libra. Okay, you have the star card, which is Aquarius. Okay, then you have fire, Aries, Leo, as well as Sagittarius, Capricorn, Taurus, as well as Virgo and Gemini. And then Virgo as this nine of pentacles. So a lot of Virgo energy here. Okay, a lot of earth energy here. Okay. Um, so you definitely could be dealing with an earth sign. Okay. Somebody's definitely, like I said, um, getting some messages from their ancestors, their higher self with these birds being here. Okay. So they could have been, you know, battling their spiritual, battling their religious beliefs, their upbringing. This could have been also a conflict between this relationship, you know, the, the their mother relationship or the mother, their child relationship. Okay. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, North Node. Got it to this video if you don't have cancer in your chart and not dealing with cancer. And nobody that has cancer in their chart, maybe there's some messages in this video for you too. The song that's on right now is No Scrubs by TLC. Okay, so make the effort, putting in the in, the the time and energy because the romantic feelings between you and this person is real. So again, the chemistry, the bond, um, you know, the the love, the feelings that you have for this person, Cancer, is no longer you know deniable. Now this person has to come and express you know this commitment that they're wanting to give to you because, like I told you, it took them a long time. To get there and they could have been giving their time and their energy to other people especially if they were the bachelor for the nine of pentacles to come out um 
and then Virgo to come out twice, right? The Hermit card came out twice, yeah. Okay, so a lot of Virgo energy. So this person could have had options. Um, one of them could have been dealing with a karmic or karmic soulmate. There could have been judgment. Like I said, I do feel like there was spell work or sex magic that was involved, that somebody was involved with as far as when it comes to the soul and the spirit. Okay, your soul and spirit cancers are your masculine, your feminines are yours, cross watchers. Okay, playfulness. Yeah, playfulness, sexual energy. Okay, calling in your soulmate. And that's the reason why. So let's say if this person was involved with somebody that was not supposed to be there, um, they're going to call in. Their soul and spirit is going to call in the right person. Again, if there was a lot of burdens, this person's going to sleep at night. And they're like, damn, this person that I'm with, yeah, they look good. Woo -to -woo -to -woo. But there's a lot of burdens that this person is, comes with this person. Okay, this person has a stanky ass attitude or these acting like a 10, you know, having tender tantrums, you know, giving, be, making this person, making you have a headache cancer or having, making your masculine and feminine have a headache. And they're just like, uh, all the baggage that comes with and the burdens that comes with this person, it's not worth it. Okay. Is what I'm hearing. So this person's like calling in, you know, saying to their ancestors, you know, praying at night or, you know, saying, you know, remove this person, bring in my true soulmate. And cancers, you could be your divine masculine, divine feminine, true soulmate if they were involved with somebody else or it's vice versa. Okay. Okay, great. We have attraction. Yeah, the chemistry between you and this person is real. The reason why this person keeps re coming back into your life or you're leaving this person and going towards your true soulmate, divine partner, life partner, uh, divine uh, twin flame, twin ray, whatever the case may be, is because, like I told you, the chemistry is real. There's there's no reason why there should be, like I said, denying one's feelings whenever you know that this person was somebody that was destined to be in your life. You're seeing this person as your equal, okay? All right, they're seeing you as their equal, Cancer. And they possibly, like I said, we're not giving you solid offers in the past, but now this person wants to give you everything. Cancer, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mercury, North Node, guided to this video if you don't have cancer in your chart and not dealing with anybody that has cancer in their chart. Maybe there's some messages in this video for you too. The song that's on right now is Touch My Body by Mariah Carey. Yeah, Sudden Wealth. I'm feeling like they hit a pat the jackpot. They're the main male. There goes the theft. Okay, letting go of a certain situation. Ending, like I told you, if they're not having sex, they're no longer having sex. They laid a waste of having sex with this karmic, karmic soulmate. Okay, this person is not attracted to them physically anymore. They're not a desirable like the way that they used to be. Some of them are realizing, again, there was lost time. They stole time and energy and money. They were like a little, you know, sexual thief. Okay. Now this person wants to make it official. Okay. You're that mature woman or that mature man, cancer, that this person is wanting to settle down with. Like I told you, if they looked good or if it was because this person was younger and they had a better body or he, their better physique, you know, masculine, you know, masculine or six pack or whatever, that shit was just illusions. Wasted time. That could have brought death to them, brought burdens, a slight heart attack. Okay. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, North Node. Got into this video if you don't have cancer in your chart and not dealing with anybody that has cancer in their chart. Maybe there are some messages in this video for you. Too, too many cards. Authority figures. So there could be, like I said, let's say if this person does have a, 
a tender tantrum or has an issue with their temper or they're violent. There could be police that is, you know, involved in a certain situation. Let's say if this person is leaving this person, um, there could be like a, um, a restraining order that needs to be put. Are there like in order for them to go get their things, they're going to have to call the cops. Yeah. Cause there's going to be a war or battle that comes with it. So they rather have, you know, the protections that they need in order for them to get out of this situation with this person. Cause this person is underlying crazy or has, you know, mental problems or very, vi very violent. Okay. Yeah, ancestors got higher ancestors gods is giving this person, you know, the 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 guidance and the advice that they need in order for them to leave this situation. You are protected. Okay? They're telling you what you need to do. Orphan. Yeah, there goes that black magic. Hmm. Okay, definitely. Okay, some of y'all, like I told you, it was the mother of the child, the father of the child, or it's a physical parent. Okay, and you feel like you know you're not even from that family, or you know, your masculine feminine feels like an orphan. Some of y'all were left to feeling abandoned, like I told you, was hand over to the, the government, been in the system. Okay, Pony by Gem Gemini, Gemini uh, by Genuine is on. Okay, so Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, North Node. Guided to this video, if you don't have Cancer in your chart and not dealing with anybody that has Cancer in their chart, maybe there's some messages in this video for you too. Personal boundaries. This card keeps coming out in every one of my videos that I have done so far. So putting up your own personal boundaries, not allowing people to overstep the boundaries that you have set for yourself, cancers, or your masculine or feminine is feeling this way, okay? Um, there could have been some, again, there was personal boundaries that was crossed if somebody's using black magic spell work or, you know, um, using, like I said, the police or getting violent, you know, putting this restraining order on this person that, you know, that's a personal boundary that they're putting in, themselves in because, again, the wars, the, 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 the battles that they're, they're getting behind with dealing with this person all the burdens behind dealing with this person. And this is the insight. This is the clarity that they're getting from their ancestors on what it is that they needs to be done. Okay. So somebody's definitely in their purple, their, 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 their violet energy. Okay. Third eye is opening up. Crowned area is opening up. Meditation could be involved that you could be doing, taking part of cancers or your masculine, your feminine is, or cross watchers you are. Okay. Or they are. Okay, um, so we have understanding, awakening, awareness, and self um, elevation. Okay, evaluation, excuse me. And then you have choices, assertiveness, empowerment, and authenticity. Okay. One more card, and we are going to be done. But this person is definitely getting the information that they need in order for them to make a decision. And some of them know that they have to go to war in order for them to get their things or go to war when it there might be a fight and a battle when this person finally leaves this other individual um, is what I'm hearing. Now they could be physically fighting and arguing with this person now. relationships 
So definitely dealing, this has to do with the relationships that you are involved with. Like I said, your family and friends putting up personal boundaries. Like I told you, this person was, intimacy is here. And that's where I was saying this, the spell, sex magic was involved. Them freedom, again, putting this, uh, this restraining order or on this person or like I told you, getting the cops, they know it's going to cause them to be able to get out of a situation where they don't have to be in a wall, a fight and a battle with this person trying to leave. So they're basically already preparing themselves. They're accepting the things for what it is and they're trusting that everything would work out in their favor. Okay. So nine is putting in action and I'm going to end this reading their cancers. Hopefully this reading resonates with you. If it does resonate with you, like my channel, subscribe to my channel. And I just want to say thank you and you have a great day.